he was created as a means to enable Shredder's robot army. And while he seemed like a Utrom, he was actually inspired by a 1958 film. His backstory was barely explored during the original run of the show, but he continued being developed in one of the recent shows of the Turtles. This is the story behind the evil warlord of Dimension X, Krang. David Wise, the creative mind behind the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, had a vision for the show. He wanted each episode to feature a main villain, with an overarching villain of higher rank. The rationale behind this idea was to ensure that the Turtles could easily use their weapons on the foot soldiers, and because this was a show for kids, those soldiers needed to be robots. However, there was a challenge. David needed a way to justify how the primary antagonist, the Shredder, would have access to such advanced resources. It was at this point that he came up with a brilliant concept. An alien would provide the Shredder with the necessary means. Drawing inspiration from the horror movie The Crawling Eye, originally known as the Trollenberg Terror, where a single-eyed brain with tentacles intrigued him, David envisioned the alien as the mastermind behind the operation. This alien wouldn't be able to accomplish everything alone. Instead, it would serve as the brains while relying on others to execute its plans. As David pondered on his ideas, he recalled the existence of the Utrams, a fictional alien race from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics. The concept of the alien brain merged seamlessly with the Utrams, creating a compelling narrative. To establish the alien's dependence on the Shredder, David decided that initially it would not possess an android body. While David had planned for the introduction of the android body, he didn't specify that it would resemble Zippy the Pinhead. This detail was developed by others. David feared that Krang would be able to take control as the main villain if he could do everything himself. This eventually happened during the second season, but the writers somehow managed to make it work, with Krang always planning things from a distance. Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, the creators of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, expressed their objections to certain ideas surrounding the original miniseries. They disapproved of the Turtles moving into the Technodrome and residing with Baxter Stockman, who would have become their human ally. Additionally, they rejected the merging of Krang and Shredder, which was initially planned for the end of the first season. Krang was an exiled Supreme Warlord from Dimension X, a tumultuous realm plagued by constant interstellar conflict. Although limited information was provided about Krang's race, it was made clear on at least one occasion that they resembled reptiles. However, even within the show, this assertion was contradicted. In the episode Four Musket Turtles, it became apparent that Krang's race possessed the same form as Krang himself, complete with the iconic Bubble Walker. Krang had lost his physical body when he was banished to Earth. Before embarking on his quest for earthly conquest, Krang partnered with his loyal weapons engineer, Von Drakus, also known as Berserko, to design the Technodrome. This colossal vehicle enabled Krang to traverse between Dimension X and Earth instantaneously. Once the Technodrome was constructed, Krang betrayed and banished Drakus, who eventually found himself stranded on Earth. In a cruel twist, Krang also destroyed Drakus' homeworld with the Technodrome. However, in the 2012 cartoon adaptation, the story underwent a retcon. Krang was revealed as a Utrom and a cousin to Krang Subprime. According to this revised version, Krang's exile from Dimension X resulted from his incompetence. Whether this retcon is considered canon or not is open to your interpretation. During Krang's initial appearances, his primary focus was acquiring a new body. To achieve this, he even assisted the Turtles, forming an uneasy alliance to gain leverage against the Shredder. Krang needed to transport his rock soldiers from Dimension X to conquer Earth, but feeling insecure about his current appearance, he believed it necessary to acquire a suitable physical form beforehand. After suffering defeat on a few occasions, Shredder finally agreed to construct a body for Krang. As part of the arrangement, Krang requested the addition of a molecular amplification unit to the body, granting him the ability to grow into a giant at will. However, this system was later sabotaged by the Turtles and only utilized once more by the Turtles themselves in the series finale. Additionally, Krang's new body possessed a molecular reconstruction system, allowing him to alter specific parts, particularly his hands, to suit his needs. After a while, Krang, growing tired of the ineffectiveness of his criminal associates, came to a realization. He could only rely on himself. 
Determined to rectify the situation, he made a daring decision. He would clone himself six times, each one possessing a distinct personality and a bubble walker of a different color. Initially, these clones, known as Krangazoids, were not keen on working for Krang. However, he maintained complete control over their bubble walkers, which kept them obedient. Over time, something unexpected occurred. The Krangazoids began to evolve beyond Krang's current state. Their tentacles transformed into hands, followed by the development of legs. Before they knew it, they were growing reptilian bodies of their own. The Krangazoids had gained enough independence to sever ties with Krang, but returning to Dimension X, where they would have been more comfortable, was not an option. In their quest for freedom, they decided to tamper with the Earth by manipulating the lava beneath the city, increasing the heat to create an environment conducive to their needs. As the Krangazoids approached their ultimate form, their plan came dangerously close to succeeding. However, the valiant efforts of the Turtles thwarted the transformation of the city by stopping the magma manipulation. Subsequently, the Krangazoids were sent back to the Technodrome. Desperate to rid himself of their presence, Krang devised a plan. He opened a portal to Dimension X, tempting them with the idea of returning home. The Krangazoids hastily passed through it, only to discover that Krang had deviously sent them to Dimensional Limbo. He had no intention of allowing six versions of himself to roam freely in Dimension X. From the second to the seventh season, Krang and Shredder utilized the Technodrome, a remarkable technological mobile fortress. This incredible vehicle journeyed from Dimension X to the Earth's core, then back to Dimension X, followed by the Arctic, the depths of the Arctic Ocean, and ultimately, it returned to Dimension X, with Rock soldiers included. Krang, Shredder, Bebop, and Rocksteady were notably absent. For the first time in a long while, they were left to fend for themselves, devoid of their limitless technological resources. It seems like this is the point where the current Saturday Morning Adventures comic is spinning off from. I'll cover that new timeline some other day. Without a lair, Krang searched for an ideal hideout, ultimately discovering the perfect one amidst the futuristic wonder of the world of tomorrow at the Hall of Science, an emblem of ingenuity and knowledge showcased at the New York World's Fair. Meanwhile, the Turtles managed to uncover Krang's nefarious plans and set their sights on intercepting him at the Hall of Science. Little did they know that an unexpected twist awaited them on this journey in the form of Berserko, Krang's former weapon engineer. As chaos erupted in a furious clash, Berserko seized Krang, taking him hostage. Shredder capitalized on this unfortunate turn of events in a wicked display of power by coercing the Turtles into retrieving the captive villain. The terms were simple, return Krang safely or face the devastating destruction of the Channel 6 building. The Turtles embarked on a race against time to rescue Krang from Dracus, who adopted the moniker of Berserko. Berserko resolved to exact vengeance on Krang for his past transgressions. He tormented Krang to extract information from him to help him finish his revolutionary new creation, the Annihilator, a fearsome war machine more powerful than the formidable Technodrome itself. Fortunately, the Turtles managed to save Krang from his torment. Alas, their arrival proved too late to salvage the Channel 6 building, which was completely demolished by the Shredder in front of their eyes. Don't worry, Splendor saved the Channel 6 crew just in time. Undeterred, the heroic quartet swiftly turned their attention towards destroying the Annihilator and ensuring Berserko was apprehended and brought to justice. Krang and his gang returned to the halls of the World's Fair, where the Turtles had problems getting in due to the number of weaponized defenses in the building. Krang's relentless pursuit of power reached a turning point as he finally succeeded in opening a portal to Dimension X, transporting himself and his cohort back to the safety of the Technodrome. Their escape seemed imminent, but the Turtles embarked on a perilous journey to the distant planet Bellerophon. The Turtles infiltrated the impregnable Technodrome, rendering it utterly useless, save for a single remaining feature, the Transdimensional Portal. In an extraordinary twist, a grotesque and monstrous plant creature emerged from the depths, ensnaring the Technodrome in its clutches and dragging it mercilessly into a deep, foreboding ditch. Shredder and Krang remained in Dimension X, where they shared the story of their quote-unquote victory over the Turtles with others. One of the listeners was Mung, who eventually became Lord Dreg's henchman. Mung informed Dreg about Shredder and Krang's tale, 
leading Greg to recruit them for his plan to conquer Earth and divide it among themselves. However, Shredder and Krang were not keen on sharing their conquest with Greg, so they decided to escape. Unfortunately, their attempts were futile as they were captured once again. Greg began draining the life force from all the turtles, including Shredder and Krang, but Shredder managed to sever the connection and made a daring escape with the dying Krang. Regrettably, Dreg now possessed Krang's intellect, enabling him to anticipate any plan they could conceive. To save Krang's life, Shredder performed a life force transfusion. Their new objective was defeating Dreg and seizing control of the world. They devised a complex plan to send him through a wormhole. Although Dreg was too intelligent to fall for their scheme, the Turtles ultimately saved the day by transporting everyone, including Shredder and Krang, to another location, likely Dimension X. While Shredder and Krang never appeared again in the show, Krang's android body played a crucial role in defeating Dreg in the series finale. Krang made his appearance years later in the movie Turtles Forever. The placement of this story within the continuity remains highly ambiguous. However, within the story, Krang regained the ability to grow in size through his android body. Interestingly, this was a crucial turning point for Terrell, enabling him to accomplish the same feat. Apart from the substantial upgrade to their Technodrome, nothing else underwent any significant change for Krang as a result of this adventure. Krang returned in the 2012 series, but this time as a Neutron. It was revealed that he'd been exiled from Dimension X because he continuously destroyed the worlds that Krang wanted to invade. In terms of both continuity and motivations, this portrayal of Krang deviated significantly from the Fred Wolf cartoon and its placement within the overall storyline could be left to the viewer's interpretation. Krang was one of the most significant new characters of the Fred Wolf cartoon, and his partnership with Shredder worked well in both comedy and action stories. For a long time, Krang was an exclusive character of the Fred Wolf cartoon and its spin-off universes, like the Archie universe, the other animated Turtles comics, and the video games. The 2003 cartoon had a version of Krang that was also a neutron, but this appearance was probably just a joke for older fans. Krang would, however, influence the lore of the 2012 cartoon immensely, with the invading tribe of the Utroms being renamed the Krang. Around the same time, Krang made his debut in the IDW comics. More recently, Krang inspired yet another invading species known as the Krang in the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Finally, the character of Cynthia Utrom from Mutant Mayhem seems to have too many similarities with Krang's android body. Since this video was made before the movie came out, it's hard for me to say if this character will be Krang or just another Utrom, but I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. What's your take on Krang? Do you prefer the Utroms as evil beings or as pacifists? Let me know in the comments. Stay tuned for tonight's sci-fi chiller thriller killer movie. It's a real classic, The Evil Brain from Dimension X. Aw, oh, take a hike, man. Let's see if we got some cartoons. Thanks for watching.